Oh, yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms that tried to grab me and deadly legs. Okay, lays. okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! Just hear a rat. Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. Got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Defeated. You must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. Thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it. It had six tentacles.
nearly had that thing dead, but then my luck turned south. The old flamethrower broke apart as I continued the fight. So I finished it the old fashioned way, with my fists. defeated. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. defeated. Well, well, well. If it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew. And only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So... Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run, and you can't hide. Tricks. Let's see you chew your way through lasers! <laughs> Boss defeated! Once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good for you. I'm going to keep you alive. 
and you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. The best part? You'll be severely injured. I wonder how it'll feel being the patient of a woman you called a traitor. No! No! There was nobody in the room, but my instincts told me it was a perfect place for a trap. defeated. I ran into a guard as I went in. He was urinating. Please don't tell me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before, not after peeing. Sir, yes, sir. Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? Sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? Uh, no sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Here, you don't look, listen, or speak, unless I tell you to do it! Understood? Sir, yes sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? I can't find it, sir. I must have lost it. You shit for brains! And do you have a spare one? Yes, sir. And where would that crusty-ass spare uniform be? I can't find it, sir. I must have lost it. You shit for brains! And do you have a spare one? Yes, sir. And where would that crusty-ass spare uniform be? It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and assholes. I don't see any propane accessories. And I know you're full of shit. Me full of shit? What, you little... Of course you are. Look at your brown eyes. What? My eyes are blue. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eyes. No. 
No! I'm not! Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. <laughs> Boss defeated! Thanks, dude. Oh, I mean... Freeze, or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to aim your weapon at me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no, sir. Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. Sir, yes, sir. You're Fox, right? I knew you were going to pass through here sooner or later. I'm Machine Gun Mike. Are you ready to face me, or are you going to run away like a coward? Run away? I don't run from dead men. Then prepare to die. as you want. Those sandbags Machine gun! Damn you, Fox! Boss defeated! I arrived at the northern parking lot. There were trucks and containers all over the place. I wanted to hide in the right truck. Serial number 233980. But, Machine Gun Mike could be waiting for me, seeking revenge. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, Fox! Try tossing your puny grenades now! Machine Gun Mike? Nope. Now I go by the name Splash Mike. Why Splash? Because I'm going to splash your entrails all over the place. <laughs> defeated. After dealing with the tank, I found the truck and hid inside. The driver showed up a few minutes later and unknowingly aided my escape. And the military didn't find it weird that everything in the northern parking lot was destroyed? Who knows? Maybe it's a regular occurrence. 
But the truck driver must have seen all that destruction. Well, you know how military grunts are. They only think when ordered to. You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company. Boss defeated. Are you telling me that a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. Boss defeated! My triumph was fleeting. The platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles. Boss defeated! I am Takuma Takagashi, Great Japanese Samurai Warrior, Guardian of General X. If you're the boss of those assholes, know that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture. You die, boy, my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. You show 
great courage in combat to fight you has been great honor sayonara hasta la vista baby boss defeated <laughs> Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. You've stashed some grenades, though. Let's find out. Which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. to injure me, Mr. Fox. Sincerely, 
This was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff? Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. You've run out of first aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. What the fuck? You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings, and now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. Good luck. Underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Yeah. Boss defeated. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. Are you all right, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, 